my friends. Chestnut Mountain Tin Man here. How are y'all doing this Tuesday afternoon about 2.30? It is a mostly cloudy day. Roads are still wet. But the chance of rain has dropped to 15%. So that's good. And radar looked good. So we are taking a chance. Getting a ride in some miles since we didn't ride yesterday. It rained all day yesterday. And I'll be damned if it ain't raining right now. I would pick up the one rain cloud. But we were going to circle down, get a check in on the uh, Harley app, and then work our way back around to the gym. Maybe that was last little spurt before it ended. Just enough to get my damn glasses wet. It's in the low 80s instead of the high 80s thanks to the rain. Buggy. Sunday afternoon after church rode about 60 miles but I stopped at three different churches with the drone at the last church the uh, something happened it doesn't recognize the uh, video file even though it's an mp4 it looks to be about the same size as the others file-wise everything looks exactly the same but it's not recognizing it so who knows why but I lost that video so I got two and there's no way of knowing until you're <laughs> until you get back and uh Go to download your SD cards. 
without carrying a computer with you and checking each one. Go and get gas. All right, we got gas. Now we got a red light. <coughs> yesterday was uh, good for the soul to get back on had to go to the hospital with my mother yesterday she had a procedure where they checked they put a little trap in one of her heart arteries that would catch any clots they have to check that after so much time and one that was when she went to have the procedure done a few weeks ago that's when she tested positive for COVID-19 and then of course when she tested two weeks after that she came back negative and no uh, trace no with uh, antibodies that you're supposed to get from having it so she had a false positive test, never was, but had the quarantine for no reason. See, we were up there from about 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, I guess it was, three hours. And hers took a little longer because her blood pressure was low when she was coming out of it. So they observed her a little longer than normal. Never 
everything came back normal on the test. That was good. That's what we wanted to hear. Now she can stop taking one of the medicines that made her stop taking her back medicine. I've got to call my pain doctor to switch back to gabapentin, the pregnolin, which is Lipitor, not Lipitor, I think Lipitor is the uh, statin medicine, whatever it is, mine is the rot that I was taking, but uh, the pregnolin, the generic version, I'm just always so tired. And that is the number one symptom. You look up pregnant on gabapentin, it's about the sixth side effect. And I've been through one bottle, so I've been over a month. So you would have thought I would have adjusted by now. But we haven't. Oh, it is getting bright out here now. Pull down the secondary shade. two or three o'clock and uh, you're like damn I gotta go to bed but it doesn't matter if I sleep seven hours ten hours 13 hours I'm still exhausted sucks Life of battling back and neck problems. I'm pretty certain that's what gave me diabetes. I have no no family members that I know of with it. If you look up things that can cause it. Of course, obesity is the number one thing, and I'm a, I'm a little chubby, but I'm not obese. But stress, pain, and tension can cause you to become diabetic. And I'm like, well, looky there. I've been battling neck issues all my life constant battling since 2002 after I had the second surgery. 
always in pain, always stressed. That's what, that's what did it. Yeah, I found out what diabetes will do when I retired. I had to get new life insurance. And life insurance ain't cheap with diabetes. It doesn't matter if it's well controlled. You get a little better rate, but not much. I went from the PD with 200000 in life insurance for $38 a month which was about average for my age and all, even outside of the police department market, to having to get life insurance with the diabetic diagnosis. Now I pay, what the hell do I pay? $300, $325 a month for 250,000 in life insurance. I shopped half a dozen or more companies and that was my best rate. Tack that big, big D on your title. So if you have it, the insurance doesn't know it. Don't let your life insurance know it. Don't let your premiums lapse. Keep everything up to date and renewed or you will get a surprise that you don't want to have to deal with. I knew it was going to be rough when I was uh, getting ready to search because our brother-in-law told us about a friend that had life insurance, was diagnosed, yada yada, and then goofed up and let us missed a payment and he got a notice in the mail. We will continue your policy, but we will continue it under this these conditions that you're diabetic. They knew he hadn't told them with a mega increase in price. So I had a I had an idea it wasn't going to be fun when I started searching. Yeah, how much I'd love to have that $38 price. You know, 10 years later, my price should still be in the, like $50 to $60 a month for healthy, my age group. Nope, not with the big D. Not with the big D. Noisy little rice burner. Just have assume have a good 89 cent cup of Q2 coffee than I would a four dollar Starbucks coffee. Well, we got our check in while we we're stopped at the light. Awesome, awesome solve.
my friends. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you goodbye. Into the 20 minute mark. That's a nasty looking cloud. They'll dead straight ahead. But thank you for coming along on this ride with me. I can't tell you enough how much it means to me that you take time out of your day to spend with me. I do not take that lightly. I, I know how precious time is. Matter of fact, I'll spend an hour watching y'all's videos at the gym. That's what I do while I'm on the cardio. So, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up and give it a like. Very important. Don't forget to comment whether it is uh, words or an emoji or both. Comments are very important. And then if you can't watch my entire video at once, don't leave it with the cursor at 11 minutes. Grab that thing after noticing where you're at and pull that thing all the way to the right because YouTube punishes creators the most for short watched videos. You wanna slap somebody in the face and bust their nose? Go on and watch 30 seconds and, and shut off. That hurts their channel worse than anything. Don't do that. So, like, comment, cursor all the way to the right by watching or pulling, and you can always come back when you have the second and finish it. If you happen to just surf in, and you're not one of my subscribers, and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, become a member of my motovlog family, when you do, a bell icon will appear. Click that top bell, and YouTube will let you know when my new videos are up to be watched, and you don't have to guess about it. Also, if I'm not subscribed to you, I will subscribe to your channel and help you grow, because it's only fair that if you help me, I help you. So, this is the Chestnut Mountain Tin Man saying thanks for coming along get out there and ride them and be safe we will see you tomorrow we're out of here